Wearing hard hats and crouching behind a wall of makeshift shields. Burmese protesters gather again in Yangon and across the country in defiance of the military coup. Scattered on the floor, banana skins, their latest tactic to try to hinder police activity. In recent days, Myanmar's military rulers have stepped up efforts to quell the pro-democracy protests. In the northwestern town of Calais, several people have sustained serious injuries from live and rubber bullets. This after another deadly weekend. At least 18 people in several cities were killed on Sunday. The United States now warning that it is ready to take further action against the military junta. If the Burmese military refuses uh, to restore the democratically elected government and to cease this abhorrent violence against peaceful demonstrators, uh, there will be additional measures forthcoming from the United States. And then just there is also growing concern among neighboring countries. Foreign ministers from the region are due to meet virtually to discuss the political crisis in Myanmar. A representative from the military has been invited, drawing condemnation from ousted lawmakers who say they are the country's legitimate leaders. The group of elected officials, known as the CRPH, are active on Facebook, and they have now formed a government in exile, declaring the military junta a terrorist group. The committee has also released a list of ministers who are expected to assume duties in the coming days.